Yak, 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 yak. Great. Just filled up with fluid film. Rebuilt master cylinder. Great. Synthetic, as opposed to silicone. Maybe it's not hydroscopic. Found a place that sells these brushes in Florida. 9.5 millimeters wide. The good stuff. Oh. Usually you put one hand on the master cylinder to stop it from popping out of the vise because no matter how tight you make it, it always pops out of the vise. And if it pops out of the vise, it's going to end up right on my clean drags. Hmm. This is how you bleed it. Put your bleeder hoses in, tighten the fittings, put the clamp on the middle, and get the air out of the bore. Can I help you? With the recyclables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what to do. I know what to do with the recyclables. Just like everybody else does. Mix them up with the trash. Nobody cares. Came to confirm the honeydew list. Is that a sleeved master cylinder or a rusted and sandblasted master cylinder? Needs a little bit more goopy. above freezing this morning. I watched the temperature go up and the ice start to melt. I gotta go plow the slush. And my buddy in Halifax, Nova Scotia is plowing with a blazer, pulling out a, an F-350 with a bobcat. Hasn't popped out of the vise yet. Crack. I went to one of the flaps, friendly local auto parts, and the guy gave me a Gave me an aluminum master cylinder with a plastic reservoir. Usually they don't, they don't even give you the reservoir, but I said that ain't going to fit an 84, maybe a 94. It was only 30 bucks, 25 bucks cheap. Air bubbles. There. I bet you there's directions how to do this. Wait a few seconds. Don't pump too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still getting bubbles. There. Now you put it in the blazer and you take off the lines at the last second and a little bit of oil drips out. And Somebody said I'm going to have a reservoir, a master cylinder booster full of oil from the reservoir. I don't think so. I got hydro boost. I forgot about that. Flush it up with water because brake fluid is water-based. Not water-based, alcohol-based. Soluble by water. Fluid film in there, maybe. Spray it silicone to displace the water. What a mess. That looks like the original one to me, doesn't it? It was leaking like crazy into the interior as well. I'll show you. It was always oil dripping from the push rod. Right there. 
always dripping. Which means that I knew it was coming. This needs to be pisterized. I sandblasted this twice. It's resting on the top of the rockers. Not the bottom, not the inside, just the top. Definitely needs to be pisterized. And my friend Gas Sub Wild in Tokyo bought a Progress. See right here. Pro with an accent. Progress. Kind of looks like an Avalon if you ask me. He's had a screen that popped up on the dash. Oops, someone's been putting their feet on the dashboard, all full of scratches. Avalon. Fancy Toyota. Needs a new armrest. Yeah. Toyota Progress. Giant size Camry. That's what they call it here. Uh, Camry. And the deluxe model is the Avalon. And maybe the one that he has is a fancy version. Halfway between a Lexus. I don't know. And what's wrong with this thing? Charging the batteries. I'm gonna take off the inlet to the fuel filter and blow backwards. Maybe it's blocked in the tank. How could that be? It was running perfectly. I checked the filter, it's the same one. Fuel solenoid? Fuse? That's really odd. And I had the pump running manually. I was priming the pump. It isn't like it wasn't getting fuel pressure. Stanadine Automotive Corporation, Windsor, Connecticut. I don't know. Something fishy here. Something fishy, Mr. Weasel. All right, I'm gonna put my master cylinder in. I've got to pull back the bracket that holds the hydro boost lines and put the master cylinder in. Oh yeah, silicone spray. Don't go away. Here I come. Got a love and hate cameras. They only show what the person holding the camera wants you to see most of the time. Just displacing the water with silicone. Huh. Water actually froze. Yeah, it had an icicle hanging off the bottom of the hydro boost. Guess the temperature's just above freezing, or barely. Maybe I should put some air pressure in there. Flush it out better. Give me a minute. I'm gonna crank up the compressor. It leaks. I used the wrong lines. My beautiful job. It says 39 degrees. This one says 45. Seven, eight degrees Celsius. All right, I got a little bit of work to do. I'll keep you posted. And we'll bleed the brakes a little bit. Hopefully she'll have some breaks again. Yeah, I sprayed water and I got ice now. Chunks of ice, not a good thing. <laughs>